Hey, Tool. So, hey, how's it going? Uh, day two of Modern Retailing Conference. Today, a Tool is hosting a workshop called Analytics in the Age of Privacy and Regulation. Before we get to this, let's talk about what we saw day one and a little bit of this, this morning, actually, and it's, I keep hearing CDP, Customer Data Platform. Even from companies I didn't even know had a CDP, everybody's building one. Everybody's trying to launch it because that's what people are asking for. So where do we start? How do we? Well, first of all, I think that we need to really think about the, the acronym. I yeah. think it might be sort of overstated. Yeah. I'm at fault of that as well. But mm -hmm. I think we're really talking about customer journeys, customer patterns, like their profiles. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is, right? So mm -hmm. you are seeing companies who have had any sort of variation of a profile mm -hmm. of a customer, say data mining company, say, hey, I have a profile. Here's the right. car Chris drives. His lease is about to be up. Yeah. Theoretically, CDP, Yeah. right? And so I, I believe that the, the concept is maybe being sort of broadly used. Right. But here's the deal, right? The most important thing that I feel is that um, what a CDP is, and when you use capital letters, customer, capital letters, data, platform, it means a very specific thing. It means to pull in events from all of these places. And places right? as in? Websites, website, the tool. CRM, even the walk-ins. Yep. And it, just like Google Analytics with GA4 is event-based, right? Brian mm -hmm. Pash has been talking about this sort of event-based capability. All those events need to go into a profile right. because you can't make decisions on partial information. Right. And so that would be the biggest difference between, because I'm surprised we haven't seen it yet, a CRM company saying, we're actually a customer data platform. Yeah. That's the biggest difference is like, the CRM has profiles, yes, but it's stuff that's manually inputted, usually just from like in-store activity. The CDP is in-store and online. And I don't know if you've you know, heard, but most of the shopper journey is online. So you need a CDP more than a, a CRM lately these days. So. And then as far as this session goes, Chris, like, yeah. you know, obviously analytics has been a big topic, right? Yeah. So you got analytics on one side mm -hmm. and you got customer data platform on the other. Right. Well, the actual bridge that I, I don't believe we see enough, like we, we're not sort of being aware of this, but it's really privacy. You know, how do you go from analytics that are all driven by aggregate counts? Mm -hmm. 100 people did this, 50 people did this, 1,000 people came from this source, to actually go to CDP level capabilities, saying these are the people right. that Identified came in, people. right? Yeah. This person came in from Google CPC one day, then the next day they came in as a lead from a third party site, and then three months went by and then clicked on an email. That's CDP, that's event-based listening, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the important thing that we need to address is the elephant in the room. How do we make sure that what we're doing from transitioning from analytics that are aggregates to CDP that are event-based, how do you make sure the consumer knows this is happening mm -hmm. and make it privacy compliant? So we're gonna talk about how you, know, you, you transition and why analytics is even privacy driven. So I'm excited about this session. So, and we have some, a guest with us too. Yeah, yep, Jamie uh, Seward, got his name right today. Uh, longtime client, he and a tool are always testing things out. He's an early adopter of any feature we, we, we come up with and even gives us some ideas. So if you're here, it's at 1.30. Uh, it's also going to be recorded, so be able to stream it afterwards as well. So we hope you tune in.